From the moment you're diagnosed with heart failure, you're opened up to a whole new world. Changes seem to come at you all at once. New terminology, tests, scans, lifestyle changes, and a bewildering array of medication. There's a lot to take on board, and it's easy to feel overwhelmed. At Pumping Marvelous, we believe that everyone needs a hand at this first step. So welcome to our marvelous guide to the meds you could be given and what to expect, all told by members of our team and volunteers who have gone through a similar journey. We won't go into all the science or specifics about each medication. If you'd like more detailed information, go to pumpingmarvelous.org and look for our marvelous guide to heart failure medicines. When you're first told about heart failure, they give you a whole list of medications that you start on. Don't expect to understand or remember everything. Make sure you keep a note of everything they put you on. There's a section at the back of our online Marvellous Guide to Heart Failure Medicines for this. Visit your pharmacist who will talk you through everything again at your pace. There's a lot to learn. Do it step by step. At the start you'll have blood tests and checks. This is all about finding that ideal mix. Things can be adjusted if the medications have side effects that are having an effect on a day-to-day -day basis. Make sure you tell your cardiologist, heart failure nurse, GP or pharmacist. They're your heart failure team. Keep a diary of changes and your experiences. Ask your heart failure team for our appointment diary to help you with changes or download it from the Patient Academy on our website. It is very important not to make any changes though without consulting your heart failure team. How you manage your treatment is a partnership between you and your heart failure team. They have a role in helping you get the best treatment possible with your help. People with heart failure tell us you really need to know what meds you're on, what they're for and when to take them. If you can get on top of this and feel in control it makes getting on with the rest of your life easier. Write your current meds down in case of an emergency Try and keep a copy in your wallet or handbag. If you do miss a dose, don't try and catch up by taking extras. Simply take your next dose as usual. If you find you miss a few, then let your doctor or nurse know and they can help. There are lots of medicines which you may be given. This should usually include drugs that will help your heart beat slower and stronger, medicines that relax the blood vessels in your body, making it easier for your heart to work better diuretics or water tablets that keep the fluid from building up in your body and your lungs, one that protects the heart and blocks the body's natural systems that have a harmful effect on the heart. You could also be given a medicine that ensures your heart rate is in a set range, helping the heart beat slower and stronger. Confusingly, sometimes the brand names vary even if the drug is the same. They could vary in colour, box, size and pill type. Learn the drug name, not the brand name. This will be consistent wherever you are. Your pharmacist can help you with this. Don't expect to know everything at the start. Don't sit at home and worry. Speak to your heart failure nurse, GP or pharmacist. You're part of a team now, so expect to get support along the way. Don't forget Pumping Marvelous are part of this team. Go to pumpingmarvelous.org or our Facebook page to find out more about how we can help and give you the information you need to live well with heart failure.